Okay, welcome to the Adreno board. What we have here is our is our Adreno board. Um, you, so to give you some kind of idea of the size of this board, it's fifty cent Australian fifty cent piece, so it's fairly small. Um, some features to point out: you've got a, a reset button here on the end. We plug this bit here into is our USB connection, and here we have power if we're plugging into an, our nine volt battery. Now, the first bit here that we look at is our power section. So you've got five volts here or here, and three point three volts here. This is five volts out. You've also got ground, which is really handy. So this is what we're we'll using for, first off, just to power up some lights, see how it works. This is analog in, so if you actually have some kind of testing equipment, you, you plug it in here. Over here, we've got our digital output, 10 not to use, 0 and 1, and, but we have 2 up to 13. And where it's got the little lines here, it means it can do analog as well. Uh, so not just, uh, not just digital. Um, the analog uh, gives you uh, the ability to fade lights as opposed to just on or off. Um, LED uh, number 13 is probably one of the most important ones because over here we have a little L. Now this is L13, so it's a basically a very small LED that's built into the system and it's equivalent of, of plugging in something to 13. So all of these are push pins, uh, uh, so breadboards and stuff. So if we are gonna connect up our wires, we can, we can simply Plug in a, a simple wire. Okay, so here I have my wire. Okay, so this is a male female. Right, male being the bit that sticks out, female is the whole. So if I want to plug in my wire to say, for example, 13, here's my 13, so I plug it in here. And now I have a wire plugged into 13 and wherever that's connected, that might be going to an LED or so on. All right? You may also have something like this, which is of course a female female. And we probably also have somewhere along here, uh, here a male male. Now male male is, is good for if we're connecting from uh, our board across to a, a uh, circuit board. Um, but generally, um, all right, so it might have something really complicated like this, uh, which is just basically cables going everywhere, and this is actually useful. We'll come back to that one later on when we do our second boards. Um, but the ability just to push the pins in is really handy. So that's the very, very basics of the Adreno board. Uh, there are lots of different ones. Uh, one of the most important things you need to notice is this here where it says UNO. We want Adreno uh, uh, UNO R3. If it just says UNO and it's not doesn't have the circle around it, then it's probably a PC board. This one will work on a PC or a Mac.